Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw the Yeti from Abominable. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll see a link that you can click on, a timestamp, that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and figure out where we are with this. So this should be pretty easy. This is basically going to be a, an exercise in, in, in color. Or, or I'm sorry, in detail. Well, not even that. In uh, in in fur, basically, because I, I'm I I don't want to go too crazy with it, but uh, it, it's going to be an exercise in in creativity, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Because uh, I don't want to. Well, I'm not going to draw all the hair. That's not one thing I don't want to do because that's not what this is about. Uh, this is about you know creating the shape, having fun with it, but it, it would also take way too long to draw every single little hair. I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure it's possible, but uh, I'm trying to get you in and out of here in time to have some fun, go outside and play and whatnot, and you're not gonna sit here and watch me draw every single hair. That's, that's silly. That's, there's no reason to do that, so. I'm just going to play around with some techniques, okay? Some hair techniques. And it's going to be kind of like a simple, simple little uh, fun way to do this. Okay, let me, let me see. And I, I'm, I'm kind of showing the Yeti with his mouth open. So I'm just trying to figure out how to... How to make it look like that because all the pictures that i have there's one with his mouth open but all the pictures i have are uh with his mouth closed and so you don't see his top teeth so i'm trying to make this up and try to make it look right and uh and make it you know work because also he's got a certain look to him you know and that's something else that i'm going to try to I have to try to a honor honor the the designers that that created it and figure out how to do it for you in Sharpie because you know I can't do every single hair like I was talking about and it it wouldn't make sense if I didn't do it you know the way the way it looks in the in the movie you know I mean we can have fun we can figure it out but it's got to look something like like the Yeti, you know? Okay, I think, I think I'm happy with that sketch. It's a very happy looking Yeti. So I think I'm gonna switch over now. I'm gonna go over to Sharpie. Yeah, that's good, I like it. I'm gonna go to Sharpie and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna lighten this up just a little bit because when I go to Sharpie, I want that to stand out. I don't want the pencil line to be very prominent. Okay, and I can still see what I'm doing. So that's why I'm just gonna lighten it up a little bit. And then we're moving over. So let's uh, let's welcome all the skippers, all the people that jumped over to this part of the section of the section of the video. I'm happy they're here too. So welcome, skippers, all of you that skipped over to the Sharpie section. Thank you for checking this out. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, and every now and then the pen, just a few for a little fine little details. We'll see. We'll see. So. I'm gonna start off, I already got my sketch, I know where I'm going, so I'm gonna start off with, uh, let's do his eyes. You know, that'll that'll define us of where we are and what we're doing. And what I talked about in the sketch too is that I'm not gonna be drawing all the hairs. We're gonna go with a quick, rough, patchy looking hair thing just to, just to, just to get that look down. And like I was telling everybody in the sketch, this is more of a, a practice, an exercise, and technique to see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna do his eye like this. And I kind of have him smiling. So I, when you smile, you know, your, your, your cheekbones or your, your muscles do like that. And you kind of get this, this, uh, do oh, excuse me, this dome looking shape to your eye. So I'm kind of doing something like that. Kind of, kind of giving him a happy smile. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of play around with a little 
dome look like this. And I think what I'm gonna do here, this is where I'm gonna switch over to the Sharpie. So I'm gonna keep it nice and thin for the eye, for the iris here. And that will contrast the thickness that we're using there. And uh, let me control the line much better too. Now, if your circle doesn't come out perfect, that's okay. And if it comes out a different size, that's okay too. Because this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. And there is no wrong way to do this. So there, I'm very happy with that. I like that. And it, it, like I said, it gave me a nice contrast of the thick versus thin that we're playing around with in the Sharpie, okay? So here, since we're there, let's also do the nose. We're just gonna do something like this. Just a little bit of a, a little, it's supposed to be a little round, but I'm gonna play around with it like that, kind of making it mine. Remember, this is how I draw. Okay, so again, or, or not again, maybe you weren't there, but in the sketch, I talked about that his mouth is going to be open. So I got him kind of smiling, kind of happy, kind of happy Yeti, something like that. I'm going to bring the rest of his mouth down like this, kind of like that. So see, he's kind of a, kind of a, a sloppy tooth, sloppy tooth grin there. And so there we go. I'm going to use the, uh, the tiny Sharpie, the pen Sharpie for another contrasting uh, tooth looking or, 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 or thin tooth ink. <laughs> I'm running out of words, sorry. So uh, yeah, and so that, that looks pretty good. I like that, I like that. So you know what I didn't draw? I didn't draw a tongue. Let me see if I can do that real fast. How about we do something kind of like this? Nothing, nothing too crazy. And color is going to take care of a lot of that too. So we'll keep that nice and nice and thin. And so since I did that, I'm going to thicken these up just a little bit, not too much, not too much, but I'm going to change up the uh, repetition here by changing the size of the teeth versus the lips and the tongue. All right. Ooh, I love that sound. That's my favorite sound in the world. So. Uh, also, he's got kind of a, I'm going to thicken up these lips just a little bit because he's got a very, very uh, thick black lip look to him. And that's a little too thin for me. So I'm just going to thicken it up like this just to make it stand out and to get that look that I want. Ooh, there you go. I like that. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to play around with the hairline and so he's got kind of like these these long locks over here so I'm just gonna just start putting lines down just kind of throw some whips in here and I'm kind of doing something like this and remember I'm not drawing all the all the the hairlines I'm just kind of playing around with some just to give him that 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 hairy Yeti uh, feel okay and also let's play around with a few little thin lines like this too just to, you know, like I said, just to mix it up, just to make it different, and just to contrast a few things, okay? And so, he does have a hairline, so I'm just gonna kinda make it like this, kinda bring it around, play around with it a little bit, and because this is my drawing, I'm gonna do what I want. Play around with uh, just a few little contrasts like this. Not contrast. Why did I say that? I'm just making up words. I'm trying to think of words while I'm talking, and sometimes it doesn't work. So a few little uh, techniques, little wisps, you know, just to just to have some fun, just to give him his hair, you know, that that style. And like I said, we're not going to do all the hairs. We're going to do some, and just a few, just to you know, play around with the style. And, and just give him that hair look because like I said, we don't we don't want to draw all the hairs. I mean, I do. Hair is so fun to draw, but we don't have time to do it. That's not what we're doing here. We're just kind of like playing around with what we can, okay? So here it's gonna, instead of going up, it's gotta wrap back around. So we gotta kind of play with bringing it around again. So I'm gonna play with some of these lines. And oh yeah, I gotta draw his hairline. I forgot about that. This is more a little rounder than it should be. It should come in 
come it should have came in just a little bit right there but that's okay because remember this is how i draw you draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between so it's okay it's not always going to work out it's not always going to be perfect this is just uh like i said just us practicing and having some fun okay so again just drawing some of those locks hanging down and then I'm going to start to give him an edge here because that's the side of his hair. And see, we're just going to do stuff like that. Just kind of play around with what we can do with hairlines. Like I said, it's going to be almost impossible to draw every single hair. So we're just going to play around with a few. And what's funny is I say that a lot and then keep drawing hairlines. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm also going to give him, define a few things here. So. Here I'm going to follow my arms that I did, just kind of play around with something like this. Okay, and so he's got uh, his fingers just kind of hanging out outside of his uh, um, arms here. And so I'm just going to kind of do something like this. And so see, we've kind of, kind of defined a style for him without going too crazy okay and you can't really see his other pinky back there but we'll just do like that okay so see we kind of got away with with uh you know playing with a few little hairlines and just drawing a few so we're not doing everything so like i said a technique a a a practice in technique is basically what we're doing so now let's do the other side here so i'm going to draw this arm in the sketch that i did the way that i'm doing it and defining just 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 that edge so now i can come in here and finish off this other edge okay and uh, let me do his thumb real fast then i can do some of his other fingers Again, with pinky, you're not going to see much. And let's just find a few little lines like this. And, oh, okay, so what I was going to do is, uh, his back leg is back here. So I'm just going to kind of do something like this. And that's all you can really see because uh, it's back behind him. Okay? So again, I'm just going to play around with this, this, lot, this uh, Sharpie. Just to, just to come up with a few little hair lines, you know, just to have some fun. And I'm just, I'm just drawing lines. There is no uh, rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, so don't, don't feel you have to do it like this. And don't be uh, upset if it's not, you know, I'm just kind of playing around with a few things. And you do it how you want. If you want it to look like this, go for it. If you don't, you do what you want to do. I'm just kind of playing around with it. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. We're going to meet somewhere in between. Okay? So again, I'm just playing with some hair lines. Playing with some of the sketch that I did here. And there's his other leg, all kind of all bent over here. And let's see. I'm going to draw a toe like that. We'll draw one like this, like that, and then we'll draw like that. You remember, you can't see everything. Not every single thing is going to be 100% perfect. This is just us playing around. So, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't try too hard. Don't plan, and just see what happens. Like I said, this is an exercise in fun and technique. Okay. And here, I'm just going to throw some some toenails on them fingernails over here okay and there we go so I'm gonna color all that in so I'm not worried about those lines so so there you go did you have fun I did all right so I think that's good enough for that I'd say we take care of the rest with color so that is the Yeti from abominable so here is my colored version you could do it however you like I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.